Here's how the Minnesota Timberwolves have officially broke out in 2021-22, having the franchise's best season in recent memory. Fueled by Carl Anthony Towns, Anthony Edwards, and D'Angelo Russell, Minnie's big three is assisted by the fourth score in Malik Beasley, the 3 and D product of Baylor and Torian Prince, a breakout sophomore and the currently injured Jaden McDaniels, along with last summer's free agent pickup in the hard-nosed Patrick Beverly. You either love or hate Pat Bev, but in terms of this young T-Wolves core as a whole, they're a likable bunch that's easy to root for. From Cat's franchise setting 60-piece to Ant and D loading finally giving Towns the star support he's craved for over half a decade, let's look at every reason for why Minnesota's witnessing a miracle campaign. Before continuing, please leave a thumbs up to support the development of my channel. Also, if you haven't already and love the NBA, you're going to love this channel, I can promise you that. Subscribe and hit notifications for tons of dope content around the 2022 playoffs that's on its way. The T-Wolves just beat the Milwaukee Bucks, albeit without Giannis Adetokounmpo, by a staggering 19 points. And this was without an impactful free agent pickup in Patrick Beverly. With the win, since the beginning of 2022, Minnesota is now 26-11 with wins over Golden State twice, along with the Brooklyn Nets, Denver Nuggets, Cleveland Cavaliers, Miami Heat, and now the reigning champion Bucks. That gives them the fifth best winning percentage in the league over a massive three-month sample size. After moving Zach Levine to the Chicago Bulls in exchange for Jimmy Butler, Minnesota made the postseason in 2018. Prior to that, however, it had been 14 years since the Wolves were one of the top eight teams in their conference. The Wolves did make the playoffs in seven consecutive years from 1997 to 2004, but even when they finally made it three years ago, most assumed Jimmy Butler was a rental and that he'd ultimately move on in free agency. The reason I bring up all that history is because after the glory years in the early 2000s, other than one quick playoff exit in 2018, Hoops fans in the Twin Cities haven't experienced a winning basketball team in nearly two decades up until, of course, this storybook 2022 season. Against the San Antonio Spurs last week, Carl Anthony Towns poured in 60 while also grabbing 17 rebounds in a crucial late season win that became an instant classic. There was no stopping the greatest stretch big man in the history of the NBA, as the 60 point showing was the most dominant performance of the season, but was then tied by Kyrie Irving just one day later. Nevertheless, Carl's bucket and board getting clinic was a generational performance in its own right, as he shot 19 of 31 from the field, Catman surpassed his previous career best of 56 points against Atlanta on March 28th of 2018, which had been the previous franchise mark. Towns became the first player with 60 points and 17 boards in a game since Shaquille O'Neal had 61 and 23 for the LA Lakers back on March 6th of 2000. Cat spoke on his performance saying, I told coach before the game, listen, we need to win this. I'll do whatever it takes. If I need to play 44, 48 minutes, I'll get it done. That was kind of the mindset I came in with. The whole team was happy. Everybody was being selfless about it. I think that was more of what I appreciated. The performance was amazing, but everybody wanted to see it too. None of this happens without my teammates really saying, we want you to have a chance at history. Towns received praise from the greatest coach of all time. As Greg Popovich said following his team giving up 60, Carl was fantastic. He drove it, he shot it, he always plays hard, he's a hell of a player. It's not like it was a surprise, but tonight he was special, end quote. During the third quarter, Towns had 32 points, shooting 7 for 11 on threes. That's a good game for the majority of players. As for the team's second and third options, Edwards and Russell, they've been massive reasons for why Minnesota's number 7 in the Western Conference and are right on the tails of the Denver Nuggets for a guaranteed position in 2022's postseason. Combining for 40 points per game, Ants and D loading are putting the pressure on defensive game plans better than any pair of teammates which Carl Anthony Towns has had in the past. Recently, Malik Beasley set the team record for threes in a game with 11 triples against OKC. In addition to the big three, Malik gives the T-Wolves four viable options they can turn to in any situation to generate buckets without needing an advanced playset. 2020's number one overall pick, Anthony Edwards, said he's going to win the 2023 MVP award, as Minnesota's 20-year-old Phenom has steadily developed from his rookie year, posting 21.5 assists and 5 rebound averages as a sophomore. What's most impressed me about Edwards is that he's taking around 9 3-point attempts per game, 
yet he's increased his deep range efficiency from his rookie year by three percentage points. Given Ant's combination of speed, ball handling, and athleticism, even as a Raptor fan, despite the man being in another conference, Anthony Edwards becoming a three-point sniper is still scary from my perspective, because how do you stop him at that point? However, Towns, Edwards, Russell, and Beasley aren't the only guys making the 2022 T-Wolves much tougher to guard than in years past. Lengthy, high IQ, and capable shooters on the wing like Torian Prince, Jalen Noel, Nas Reed, Jared Vanderbilt, Jaden McDaniels when he's healthy, who's an exciting young two-way player, even Josh Okogie, who's been pushed back in the rotation, those players on the perimeter provide coach Chris Finch with an overwhelming amount of depth on the wing. The reach of those aforementioned shooting guards slash small forwards bodes well for the team's ability to flip a switch defensively in a potential play-in game or playoff series. An organization that's made a habit of ranking at the bottom of the league in attendance is now bringing more than 17,000 fans per night downtown. Wolves fans are witnessing a likable, charismatic team break out of the shell they've been in since Jimmy Butler left. Over the 10 years since the Timberwolves finished 15th in the league in attendance in 2011-12, they've ranked 21st, 27th, 28th, 29th, 29th, 21st, 28th, and 29th. Fans turned away after their team's management failed to make the proper draft selection time and time again. The franchise's most infamous failure was selecting two point guards before Stephen Curry in the top six of 2009's NBA draft. Making up for those lapses in judgment, the team's now acquired three box office attractions in Carl Anthony Towns, D'Angelo Russell, and Anthony Edwards, which have gotten the Wolves' attendance ranking up to number 16. You can attribute all this success to the Wolves having the right leaders instilling a winning culture, and maybe more importantly, they share a passion to deliver for the city of Minneapolis. Coach Chris Finch spoke on the electric environment at Target as of late, saying, It's an outstanding sports town, we've just got to give them a reason to keep coming out. This is a team that a lot of people like to watch play. We play hard, share the ball. It's pretty exciting. Even our mistakes are interesting. It feels like we got something growing here and we just keep building on it. It's our responsibility to keep giving them performances they can cheer on. That statement from Chris is backed up by the numbers as after a home win against OKC back on March 10th, the Timberwolves passed their franchise record for single game ticket revenue with seven home games remaining. Web traffic's up 200% and TV ratings are also elevating. The Wolves started their season ticket promotion for next season earlier this month and set a record for sales in the first week, including 100% of the floor seats for next year. Best part of it all is that the fans piling in have been rewarded. Minnesota's 14-2 at home since January 1st. What's the most special part about the 2022 Wolves season? Best answer down below in the comments gets next video shoutout. Top 5 commenters with the most shoutouts by March 21st receive free NBA merchandise of their choosing this spring. So leave your take on today's question to compete in Community Speaks. Today's Speaks winner is Devin Sedoto. Pause to read the rest of his amazing answer. This was D-Flow. I hope you have a great one, and I'll see you next video.